there's a lot going on on the taskbar than you might think at first. Let's look at what we can tell just by looking at this thing. I'm talking about this set of icons right here in the middle. Some of these have a little blue line, some don't. The ones that don't have a blue line are pinned to the taskbar. If I right-click one of these icons, I can certainly unpin it from there. You may also notice that some of these, this one in particular, is doubled up. That has to do with the way I have it stacked, which I'll show you in a few minutes. If I click away from here, you'll also notice I have a green, greenish or a lighter green background here on Word. That's because Word is currently in focus. The computer has it as the window on the top, and that's why we have that. Let's look now at jump lists. If I right-click any of these items in here, I get what we call a jump list. Here's some related apps up here. Uh, I can uh, run this thing. I can unpin it. If I do the same thing on this Word doc, I have some recent documents I can pull up if I want to. And then those same options down here. This is called the jump list. You notice that this jump list is different from over here on the desktop. If I right click this, I get what we call the shortcut menu much longer, can do a lot more things than the jump list can do. Alright, toolbars. Let me right click on an empty area, the taskbar, and go up to toolbars. You'll see I've got three, address, links, and desktop. If I turn these on, you'll see them appear on the toolbar. I'll turn that back off. I want to show you now toolbars new toolbar I can add my own in this case I'm just going to choose my PCC folder and now PCC is on the taskbar and if I click this I can get to my documents very quickly on PCC there are some other things that you can turn off and on from that right click. I'm going to right click again, show Cortana button, show the task view button, show the people button, Windows Ink workspace, and touch keyboard. So I can turn all of these items off and on through that. Now notice search doesn't go away, but I can make Cortana, let's say, let's make Cortana go away. No more Cortana over here. All right. Another place that I can do stuff is here in settings. So I'm going to go to start, settings, personalization, and then down to taskbar. Let's look at the things I can do here. I can lock and unlock the taskbar. I'll keep it locked, but when it's locked, it means I can't move stuff around on here. Automatically hide when I'm in desktop mode. I'll click that, and my taskbar went away. Uh, if I move my cursor down there, it comes back up, or I'll just turn it back on. So I don't want to auto-hide. Same thing for tablet mode. Small icons, or small buttons. If I turn this on, all these will get small. However, I will lose the date over here unless I hover over the time. I could fix that, by the way, just by turning toolbar, the address bar on in toolbars then it makes enough room that it can turn that back on. Uh, let me turn that back off again, by the way, while we're at it. Peak preview, that's this guy way over here in this very bottom corner. You notice how when I hover over there, the desktop goes away. But I can turn off that peak preview, and that doesn't happen any longer. Replace Command Prompt with Windows PowerShell in the menu, the WinX menu. I'm going to right click here, and you see I've got PowerShell listed here. But when I turn that off, I've got Command Prompt listed here. Badges have to do with certain programs and notifications that those programs can make. Where do I want the taskbar? The bottom, top, right, left, I can move it around. Right now, I've got these two Word documents set up to combine 
the taskbar. Always, uh, do I want them combined? Yes, always. And I'm going to hide the labels. Or never, that means that the labels are going to show. Or when the taskbar is full. Well, it's not quite full, but it tried to hide as many as it could. But now look at this. I've got two different Word documents going on here. Uh, let's go back to never. I've got two different Word documents going on here. And so if I combine them. Now I only have one, but I can hover over it to get to the second one. I'm going to save this notification area for another video. From the taskbar, I can deal with multiple displays. Do I want this taskbar to duplicate across the displays or not duplicate across them? The People button here, I have some configurations for this People button, and I can actually add contacts so that people can see when I'm online and when I'm not online, if I wish. I can also play a sound if somebody tries to get my attention through that. And I can show My People app suggestions. All right. I don't really use people on here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. That's pretty much it now for the taskbar. And uh, we'll learn more tidbits here and there that are in other places. But that's the gist of what we have on taskbar.